I'm Christopher Dahjernst, and I'm super excited to be here today at the Design Museum Denmark to see the Fritz Hansen Pavilion during three days of design. Marie-Louise Høsbo, Creative Design Director at Fritz Hansen. Where are we today? We are in the courtyard at Design Museum Denmark in the central part of Copenhagen. And uh, why are we here? We are celebrating uh, the 150th anniversary of uh, Fritz Hansen. And just behind us there's this uh, extraordinary pavilion. What's the story behind that? The pavilion is designed by Henning Larsen Architects and it's setting the frame for, for an exhibition that we call Shaping the Extraordinary exactly like the pavilion. And I know that uh, that's shaping the extraordinary is a vision that you work a lot with. Um, what does shaping the uh, extraordinary mean for Fritz Hansen? Shaping the extraordinary is uh, doing uh, co-creations with uh, visionary uh, designers, Danish and international, and creating uh, pieces of design that stand out. And uh, speaking of design, there's a, there's a bridge between uh, heritage pieces and new design, of course. How do you merge those two? The pavilion by Henning Larsen is the frame. Uh, to show how, uh, how uh, heritage pieces connect with contemporary pieces and showcasing that everything has a, has a relevance in this unique space. Joining me now is uh, Eva Raumborg from Henning Larsen. What are the thoughts behind this, uh, this beautiful pavilion right behind us? Well, we wanted to uh, make a spatial experience uh, that on the one hand uh, brought on the legacy of Fritz Hansen, and at the same time was a, you could say, a sustainable response to how we built. And why is it important to design with, uh, with tomorrow in mind? For us, it's a, it's a great opportunity to actually showcase how we can work with design for disassembly. So every piece can be taken apart and therefore it's, uh, it's, it's to be repurposed. Uh, in a next life. And speaking of, uh, of this exact pavilion and, uh, and the repurpose of it, how is it going to, uh, to have an afterlife after these uh, three days? It will uh, actually continue to, to be here at the, the Design Museum in the garden throughout the summer for, uh, for various workshops and, and creative maker space. And then we take it apart and it's being, being moved to, uh, to the headquarters of Fritz Hansen in Allerød where they will reuse uh, all, all parts. So, uh, so here's to the first 150 years from Fritz Hansen. What do the next uh, 150 years hold? We will continue to pay respect to our history, to our legacy, and we will strive to, uh, to continue to make relevant pieces of furniture with visionary designers. Hopefully, the pieces will be in people's homes 150 years from now. Marie-Louise Høsbo, thank you very much, and congratulations on the first 150 years. Thank you very much.